Have you ever felt like you're losing something that was part of you? Because I have. I lost the ability to speak fluent Spanish. When I was young, I spoke fluent Spanish with my family members all the time, but that changed when I came to school. I went from speaking Spanish to only speaking English. It was a difficult process at first, but I caught on quickly. Fast forward a few years later. I now know how to speak great English, but lost the ability to speak Spanish. I felt like a part of me was gone until I decided to take action and change this. Welcome, students, staff, community members, director, and the class of 2017. My name is Salvador Ramirez Lemos, and this is my senior talk. <laughs> Raise your hand in the audience if you know how to speak fluent Spanish. Wow, look at these super amazing students that know how to speak two languages. Teachers in the audience, raise your hand if you know how to speak Spanish. Mmm, that doesn't seem very even. As you can see, many of our very own community members and students are Spanish speakers. And many of our very own parents are solely Spanish speakers. For this reason, I wanted to take the time to reteach, learn, and help others converse in Spanish. What I wish for is to talk to others in Spanish and not sound like a fool doing it. I felt left out of my community because I didn't because of my broken Spanish. But I can imagine how the teachers felt like having no background in Spanish at all. So I decided to take action. I went around the school asking teachers if they wanted to learn Spanish. I went to I asked teachers I wanted teachers, I wanted to help teachers with their parent, parent conferences or help them out understand students in both languages. Academically or non-academically in the classroom. So I asked Mr. Mendoza to help me out with my senior, talk, senior project. If I took on this daunting task by myself, I can imagine how much, confu how much more confused the teachers would have been if I took this class by myself. So Mr. Mendoza graciously helped me out with my, with Mr. Mendoza graciously helped me out. With my lessons and plans for the class. Students should feel comfortable talking to, te talking to the teachers in Spanish. This is a great advantage for the teachers and teachers should feel comfortable Teachers should feel comfortable helping out their students. Teachers should feel comfortable helping out with parent phone calls or trying to understand students in both languages. This, makes the te this helps the teacher out. Students and teachers should feel comfortable sharing their knowledge about their language and their culture with others. Students should help out teachers, just like teachers help us out with math, English, science, and history. It's a win-win for both of us. I know all too well how difficult it is to learn a new language, because this goes a long way in the classroom. I can relate to the students, because I can relate to the students as they go through the process. I anxiously, no. This experience was definitely, definitely challenging, but that didn't stop me. Anything worth having is worth fighting for. So, as, so I worked tirelessly with Mr. Mendoza. So I, worked, I, so I worked tirelessly with Mendoza, went around the school recruiting teachers into my program. As I nervously waited for teachers to come to my club, I asked myself, what if nobody shows up? Our great teachers at the school are so busy changing kids' lives. What if, maybe they don't have time for this classroom. 
So I, so I really hope that some of the teachers will take the time for this great, great opportunity. I was, I wait, after a long and anxious wait, a teacher finally showed up. I was so happy. Now it was time, that, now it was time to get down to business. To start, I had teachers introduce themselves. They went around the room sharing what Spanish word they knew. Some of the words were, mm, let's say, not appropriate here to stay up, stay up here on stage. But I knew I had a lot of work ahead of me. But I knew I had a lot of work ahead of me. So we began. I told my new class, we are not going to speak English from now and on. We are only going to speak Spanish for the rest of the session. Wow, that was a challenge. So we began. I told the, so we began. I told the teachers to pronounce the sentence that was on the board. Audience, please repeat after me. Hola, mi nombre es. I had difficult. <laughs> I had a difficult time helping teachers out because they didn't know any pronunciation. So, but I, after a while, I helped them with pronunciation. This built a sense of confidence into the teacher. So it was important to build a bridge. This was so important to the community. It was so important to my community because it was so important to my community because we have these amazing teachers, but even more amazing students. So I wanted to build a bridge between them. So I want to build a bridge for them to become even closer students and staff. Helping out our community is Helping our community is a start in this. Helping our community is a start at this school. And teachers are on the on the front line of interacting with students, community members, and staff. Our teachers have proven time and time again how our teachers have proven time and time again, that they will always be there for us. And this is my time to show them the way. It was my turn to return the favor of showing my gratitude to my teachers. When you struggle, you learn something new. This, is, this taught me how, this taught me perseverance and grit. These traits will benefit me greatly next year when I am faced with adversity. My hope is that my students will keep on using these newfound abilities and using them for the rest of their lives. This will have a lasting impact on our community by giving them ground that students as students and teachers, students, teachers, and community members will have that will come together. So do not be afraid to teach your teachers in Spanish. Be proud of your language and heritage. And help others, help students understand how it is to you. And gracias, this is mi fin de mi senior talk.